Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's feature Grandmaster, which is Birthplace of the Vile. All fragments and aspects of, that I'm using are all here in the video. You can pause them, have a look, set your character up the same way, if you want to do it the same way I'm doing it. Ignition Code for Unstoppables, Limon Arc for Overloads, and Taipan just for, for basic damage. And there's the rest of the fragments. Uh, powerful Friends for the plus 20 mobility, high energy fire coupled with uh, Counter Charge. Brilliant for getting that extra damage in on champions once you've stunned them. Now, what I will say about this Grandmaster is, it's full on. Nearly every section, you can die pretty easily. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try and explain to you how to avoid that from happening efficiently. Now, it's not a quick run, but it's because of the boss. You can die so many... By, Oh man, it really can die from anything at the boss. And um, again, I don't want to scare anybody with that, but it's just something you have to be aware of. So when you first come in here, you're going to be actually in the throne world. You'll have to spiral through to the start of the strike, which you will be greeted by a whole bunch of scorn nasties, including two overloads. One more dangerous than the other because one does solar, one does void. Now the void one, uh, it's like little void projectiles that fires. They track. So right here on the left, right here, right here on the left, there's like a little bit of the edge of the cave that you can jump up on. If you don't want to push like this, like I am, I'm trying to get all the ads to just come because they won't. If you just back from where I am, there's a little ledge up on the left. You can jump up on there and you can try and entice one of the overloads to come at you from distance and take them out very easily. You can see there, if you don't do that, you just get tons of enemies coming at you at the same time. Now, what I'm going to do, this is the second overload. This this is the void one. I'm going to try and burst him down. I'm, you see, I'm strafing. There's a little bit on the right here. It's, it's about as good a cover as I can get. Now, I've said this in previous videos. I will say it again. When you become Charged with Light, try not to be taking too many of the other enemies out because Charged with Light runs out when you... A charge of light will run out when you kill an enemy. So if you kill too many additional enemies by the time you start dealing damage to the boss again or the, the overload, uh, you will have no charge of light. So, but re stunning refreshes that charge of light. I just thought I would mention that. Now, if these if these wraiths are pushing you too heavily and you just want to like there's one here, just switch to your grenade launcher and just blind them. The primary grenade launcher, the ignition code I have, has got Vorpal, it's got field prep and blinding nades. That's why I chose this. So uh, you might have a couple of stragglers down here. Just take them out and then we'll move down to the next section. Again, you're going to hear me say this quite a bit. Make sure you've got your grenade before you move to the next section, which is why I've got 100% discipline. So I'm going to throw my grenade from this rock at the biggest area of, of spawns. Now, you can tell the spawns are different. One will have, they'll both just look, look like white smoke, but one will have maybe five or six. Uh, it's hard to explain what it is, but you can tell that there's five or six different things going to be spawning in. We want to get this unstoppable. We've got unfinishable. I have Lucent Finisher on. I do not have Linear Fusion Scavenger on, so I will be trying to finish as many champions as possible because the more bricks the better. Now what I found with the scavenger is there were still times I was picking up a bunch, maybe seven, five, six, seven uh, 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 linear shots. I actually got, he pinged me a few times here. And there we go. Now sometimes you'll see me go in viz when there's no need for me to go in viz. What I'm doing is I'm using Graviton Forfeit. Graviton, one of Graviton Forfeit's uh, perks, you obviously you get more invis. Each time you go invis, it gives you more time invis. But it also, regardless of what your recovery is, when you go invis, it gives you 80 recovery. So you will recover pretty fast as well when you're invisible. So sometimes I'll just go invis just to get the recovery. Now, Graviton Forfeit gives you your smoke back, so your, your deadfall gives you your smoke back faster, gives you it back even faster if you're near enemies. And that will come into play, especially at the boss will be using that. So when I get to this plate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The main thing I was doing there was 
you'll have the 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 the, the screebs will spawn in quite close to the plate left and right but on one side you'll get a big big uh, a big uh, spawn in of these raiders and uh, ravagers i'm trying to put my grenade on them now you can see my invis is going to run out i pick a side off the plate where there's no ads there will always be one corner where there are no ads and what you do then is you run over to that corner just before your invis is about to run out and smoke don't smoke yourself on the don't don't do your deadfall on the plate because those ads uh, the stalkers they will throw see that they'll throw that void fire at the last place they seen you and when when you use deadfall you become visible every time so they'll throw it to whatever you used your deadfall if you deadfall on the plate that will kill you so pick a side just off the plate where there's no ads deadfall over there and that is the location they will throw their void fire and you can capture the plate relatively unopposed again this is quite a I wouldn't say none of them are like oh this is an impossible area but there you have to be aware in all of the areas really because a lot of them are, you know unlike when people were saying they were snoozing their way through GMs oh they're so easy that was <laughs> that was because they were doing insight terminus which has void burn but hardly any void damage in it so you could do maximum damage without taking that damage back this is void burn 50% incoming extra damage, 25% outgoing. Except everything in here just about does void. So there is no getting away from the void damage. You have to be very careful. Now, I noticed this was happening. It's something I noticed a while ago. And then it stopped. And now it started again. It's quite a few times I'm trying to pull my heavy out. And it's just giving me my special instead. I'm not doing anything different and just not getting my, my special. My heavy out. That's why I pulled out my bow instead of my heavy. I wanted to pull out the heavy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this overload from back here. Now, I don't have to. I noticed that I was hitting quite a few crits. And crits are what... Obviously, you do more damage with crits. But I've noticed if you're just bodying an overload, you're still getting the burn because you're doing the perfect pull. But it's nowhere near as efficient. If you're doing crits on an overload, see here, it doesn't matter how far you are away because bows have almost, you know, they, they have very little damage fall off, if any at all. So it doesn't matter how far you are away from an enemy, uh, the bow will do the same amount of damage. So as long as you can hit your crits, you'll be able to take an overload down from just about anywhere. So we're moving on to the next section. You want to make sure you've got your grenade for this next section because we're going to try and suppress a whole bunch of ads that are going to push out the door. We're not going to suppress them. We want the grenade coupled with Limonot to kill them all. And that's just less incoming void fire and void damage we'll face when we go to the door. We don't want to give them too much of a chance to run back inside. So as soon as, once you get through this door, right here, we're going to jump on this little kind of pillar thing on the left. And then get ready, throw the grenade. You see there, if I can get a couple of shots where I share the damage. You see there, all the stalkers and raiders just about all died from a combination of Limonot, Bow and the grenade. Now inside this room, like nearly every room you're going to look at, there's going to be a whole bunch of stalkers, ravagers, lurkers. Uh, this one's got chieftains. Up on the left, there's an overload. Now, it's luck of the draw what chieftains you get here. You know, it tells you at the start there are void, arc, and solar shields in this strike. That is here. And and I've come here and had two void shields before. You know, it's the luck of the draw what shields you get. They're not the same every time. You know, I got two arc this time. That was the, I think, this was one of the, maybe the first time I'd ever seen two arc here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to suppress them when they come back out. I'll take down this, uh, whatever you want to call it. I'll take that down. And then I'm going to use my grenade launcher and I'm going to blind them. And I'm going to go invis and I'm going to push push out because there's, there's like a balcony behind them. And I'm going to use my super because we don't have any arc. And I'm going to blind them again and I'm just going to use my super. Now, I never got a chance to properly take them. Because these uh, these two guys came. 
and then the overload appeared. Now the overload will normally be up here. See here, I actually get pushed because of this. And now we can share the damage. Now I'm going to go and visit. The other thing I haven't mentioned, and because I'm pretty sure you guys know, is Lemonok, if you've got the Catalyst, it's actually really good. If you've got the Catalyst, uh, getting multi-kills with Lemonok promotes health regeneration, so you will regenerate your health. I don't know what this guy was thinking, but he must have just thought, nah, it's not worth it, and fell off the edge. He was finishable, which is why I pushed. So... This is the first kind of portal you'll need to go through. There's two different portals. And the portals that you go through, after each damage phase at the boss, you will get teleported back to these sections to complete them again. This is the first portal you'll go through. It is also the first damage, it's also the first place you'll get teleported back to at the boss. Your biggest things here is there's a ton of screebs, and then there's these raiders. Now, the first set of raiders, all the guys are there. You've got plenty of cover, but you've plenty of uh, distance behind you so that their shots aren't doing too much damage. But, you see me kill two over at the other side, two over this side. I'm just going to throw my grenade, dodge and go back. Because there's two more of them. There's four raiders on each platform. But those two raiders, the ones we just killed with a grenade, they don't come out until you show yourself, until you get closer. So what I done was I came over and threw the grenade, gave it a second, used my invis and then moved back. And then I just come over, make sure you're you're coming out your ADS just just to check because the strange thing about this GM is it's the only GM that still gives you your your uh, your mini your mini map. Uh, Chief is not on this. You know, so there we go. What we'll do is stop him, throw my grenade, which allows him, me to keep him overloaded. And there we go. I've got heavy over here, so I'm going to go and pick some heavy up. Now, sometimes you will pick up bricks and you might get one, you might get two. Because you've not got scavenger on. Do not think that scavenger is what's, you know... Because you'll see, especially in this video, you will see there'll be times I'll pick bricks up and get five, six, or seven out of the brick. So, I'm not too sure if scavengers are really needed for most things. Especially linear fusion rifles, but when I'd done my uh, Grasp of Avarice Flawless guide, I spoke about it now how I felt that the worst weapon to have a scavenger on for is linear fusion rifle. Rockets work really well, really as a consistent three rockets instead of two or one so I, I should have seen that i waited for my grenade because in this section here it's really cool to have a grenade and uh see there i'm just firing my i put a grenade down and then i put a couple of grenade launcher shots now i'm just going to bust out the super because i'm not going to need it anytime really soon got this uh abomination finishable now you can if you're if you can if you can get it so i've got uh, quite quite high. I've got 93 mobility. I've got 100 resilience, and I've got 100 discipline. If you can get your perks pretty decent, like what like that, uh, without using the same plus 10 on like a resilience or mobility or whatever, you can put on the mo the the thing that where mod uh, finishers make you embers. It's another great feather in the cap. Anything that will help you traverse the the boss room safely, I, I would I would definitely agree with. And finishing to make you invis is a good one. You could couple that with the uh, reactive pulse, which is an arc mod. You could put that on as well, which basically uh, when you finish, you when you when you perform a finisher, you get a really powerful overshield. That is that is the secondary perk on it. So. I waited to get my smoke, grenade, and dodge before I came to the first plate. And what I'm going to do is I put, same again, grenaded one of the spawns. You'll always have two spawns. I grenaded one of them and then grenade launchered the other one to blind the adds. Now I'm dodging to get my invis and to get my smoke back. Adds haven't pushed to me. So I'm looking to see where's the best place to go and smoke. But I didn't need to. 
I am going to smoke anyway, but now I'm going to go and stand near some ads to get my smoke back faster. You'll see the more ads that are there, the faster I get my smoke back. That smoke back almost got my dodge back as well. Uh, so, because I was on the plate for quite, maybe a little bit longer before I smoked, I'd already caught um, quite a bit of the plate. Uh, captured quite a bit of the plate. So, I got my grenade back. Again, grenade. And then grenade launcher to blind and then I'm going to grenade launcher those guys over there and now I'll smoke so as I said before this GM is pretty full on each each section has more than enough enemies or, or uh, things about it that can kill you uh, it's, it's a pretty full on strike I thought this would be one of the most difficult parts I'll just smoke again uh, I want to get my smoke back, so just standing near some ads. And then what I'm going to do, because because I'm in vis, I'm just going to come around the back here. I'm just going to wait to get my grenade, because this next section will need a grenade, because I'm going to have an unstop with a bunch, a whole bunch of ads. As soon as you go through, as soon as you stand up here, you activate the ads. That's why I waited where I was waiting. You can't jump over and then just wait for your ads to... to you know, wait outside that door for your grenade. Now, again, tried to pull out my my heavy. So what I'm going to do, I dodged. I didn't bother smoking that time. I dodged because I found when you don't know where the enemies are. Just stop that guy there. Again, pull out my bow. When you don't know where the enemies are, it's worthwhile smoking if you know that, even if you know that they're going to push you. When you do your deadfall, that when you land, you let out like a burst of void smoke. That will suppress enemies and blind them, almost. So, it's a good thing. But if you don't know what enemies are coming around you, dodging is really good because you, especially if you dodge in a direction, because they could come up behind you trying to attack you, and you can dodge clean out of their, their attack. Now, this is the second portal you go through. And this will be the second area where after the second, the boss's second health bar, he will send you back to this area to do it again. The biggest issue here, you've got those raiders, you've got lurkers, but you'd have seen me to start with. I killed two of those, uh, those uh, ravagers, these guys. There are four in each, in the rooms there are four of them. These guys will come all the way around these platforms to come up behind you. So you'll see here I'm going to shoot these guys over on the left to try and... I'm looking to see whether... Because I've killed three. There is another one here. I don't see him. But kind of strangely as well, he never came anywhere near me. And I'm shooting these enemies. I'm trying to damage these enemies over on the other side to activate the, the other lurker. But he, he, he never came anywhere near me, so... As per, wouldn't be, wouldn't be birthplace if he didn't have another overload. So again, I've just stopped him. And now I'm going to pummel him with a bit of Taipan. And there we go. Now we're almost at the boss. So we've got one, we've got two more sections, which, which are lengthy, really. He, in this next section, you've got two overloads and a whole bunch of uh, raiders and what have you. Uh... There's a couple of uh, Ravagers. But the Raiders are the ones I'm worried about because they throw that Void stuff. Got to be very careful about that Void stuff, which is why I'm not pushing. See that? If that hits you, you can see because they kind of show you. They have an animation to do before they throw it. Be very, very careful. When you see one just looking at you, just try and kill it, but move after you're shot. Because sometimes... It won't say it on your screen, but they will throw it anyway. So just, see, I'm always trying to strafe. I'm always trying to stay, you know, I'm always moving, which makes it kind of difficult for them to dial me in for, for a, a, like a, a kill shot. But when you see them kind of, they kind of hunch down before they throw it. Make sure you're not in the same location you were. Uh, make sure you're not in the same location you were when it lands. Because, honestly, they do so much damage, especially because it's Void Burn. So what I'm going to do here is, I've got 14 Taipan. I want to try 
and not use any more. So I'm pushing up. I've got a brick there. Yeah, we'll just make sure. We drop a brick. And there we go. So, again, like I said, I told you I would say this. Make sure after you've killed the overloads, don't push forward close to the door unless you've got your grenade. Because the grenade kind of helps you be able to take some of these ads out, the stalkers and the, the raiders and what have you. And then you just want to get rid of this big boss. See how we got rid of him almost with one shot. After I fired the super. Sometimes you might need more than one shot. That is the first wave. There are two of those big bosses, and there's two waves of these enemies. He's thrown one of his protect protective lanterns out. I've got to break the lantern before I can damage those, those guys. There he is. And now headshots will them or not. We'll spread that damage across all the ads, and before you know it, this walkway is completely clear. Again, it's not... You'll see people, you probably have already, people speedrunning this and sprinting through it. Fair play to those guys that can do it, but for, for, for you, for, for the majority of players, the minute you start to push is when you put yourself in danger, especially when you're playing solo. So here's my second guy. I'm going to try and get three shots on him, on his head, because I have triple tap. And I think I get four. That's him just about half health. Now, he will always run and hide when you start doing damage to him, the majority. I'd say always. He always does for me, but I mean, I don't want to say always, always, because if I do, he might not do it for you guys. The minute you start doing damage, or the minute you push down too too close, he will come back. So now we're going to try and finish him, and there we go. So what we've got left is a couple of Ravagers, a couple of uh, Ravagers at the bottom. A couple of Lurkers, sorry, at the bottom. We've got a couple of those guys, and we've got two Unstoppables. One there and one's hiding just below my low. You will see him doing his teleportation. They do do that here. Both of them are going to appear up top now. There you go. And now, and now one's going to teleport away. That is not a connectional thing or glitch thing. I've had this happen to me the very first time I'd done a master. It happened. So now we're going to try and kill him. One unstoppable. And then we're at the boss. The boss is in that kind of temple behind. It's kind of a nice area when you look at it like this. Uh, and the boss is in that temple. We're going to get a finisher on this old, this unstop. Get myself a brick. And there we go. That's us. We're full, not quite full ammo, but now we're on to the boss. So here we are at the boss. What can I say? This gets... I, I think maybe... I'm going to be here with you guys. I'm going to be here with you guys through this. But this is going to get... For me anyway, it, it seems like it could get repetitive. Maybe it won't. The strategy, the strategy at the boss is actually... It's actually really simple. Find a side where there's no ads. Attack from that side. When the ads start to move, go invis. Move to the other side. But it's a, there's a, a few more nuances than that. So you can see, we're getting my first spawn. I'm going to grenade. I didn't have my grenade launcher full. I've done, I've grenaded. I've grenade launchered. Then I'm going to move over here. But first, because of the the ability that the helm has, I kind of can stay near ads, get extra, get extra uh, time for my, uh, my, uh, extra time for my dodge to come back and I will actually get additional uh, smoke if I'm near enemies but what I can do see I've got my dodge here there's another wave of ads coming I'm going to try and get a crit and spread the spread the love there we go and now I'm just dodging there was no ads near me but I almost have my smoke back so you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm waiting till I've got one of my invisibilities. And then I'm just trying to pepper some of the ads. But don't... Now this is the first nuance. Do not wait too long after you fire. So you've got another wave coming in. I have got my dodge. So I'm just going to pre-grenade. And then dodge, invis, find some enemies. And I've got my smoke moved to the other side. Now, what I'm saying about that is, once you do damage to 
one of the ads, they're obviously all going to come after you, but so is the boss. Now you'll notice the way I'm choosing to move between the sites. The minute you start going through the middle, the boss has a tendency to stomp you once you, once you start to move. Okay? He, your invis, he knows your invis, you know your invis, but he will still track you. Try and stay away from the boss when you're moving between sites, right? There's another spawn, so we're going to need that. And then smoke. Now what I'm doing is I normally try and go... I'm, I'm going up to this overload. I haven't quite got my dodge back yet. Got my dodge. I dodged next to the overload. And I got my invis back. Now I haven't spoke about the champions. There, are, As you can see there, the boss has three, three health bars. Right? Three sections of his health. Smoke, go down to the bottom and move. He has three sections of his health bar. Uh, unfortunately, there we go. A dodge. Hopefully that thing runs out. He's running away. He's got three sections of his health. Move we'll smoke and move away. After we... Uh, so three sections of his health, three damage sections. I'm just trying I'm just trying to stay away from the boss, but make sure I get at least one of my invisors back. Now I can attack because I've got them all. Just spread the love. Don't wait too long. Now you, you see right behind me? That's another problem with this boss fight. Adds teleport. Not all of them, just every now and again one will. I've got my dodge. Just checking to see what else we've got here. I'm, I'm, you know, what I done was picked a different side this time. Uh, when you're moving between sides, I either go all the way to the bottom and round or all the way to the top. When, as I've already said, you'll have a champion in with you, right? Now what we're going to do, you see how I brought the boss over to me? Just smoke, get out of there. When the overload goes, where I went is where I'll deal damage to the boss, right? I've got my grenade. Just dodge, get my smoke back. I'm going to use... When I'm doing damage to the bosses, this is where I go. I use these sections up here. And what I do, I put my grenade. I should be able to kill this overload. Ah, oh, can't. He's regenerating faster than I can kill him. There we go. So, that's the overload. When the first wave of ads, the first health bar... You will get five or six, well, I think it's actually five, five, yeah, five or six waves of ads. And you'll have an overload. Moving from between the sides, using the edges as your way to move between side to side. Once, the, uh, once you've cleared the ads, because the ads aren't infinite. Once you've cleared the ads, you will be left with you and the overload. Uh, once you take the overload, you want to get the boss in this position. Now, there's two great positions to deal damage to him from, and they're both... I was I was going to say, there's two great places to do damage to the boss. Here and here. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's not. It's this side, and then the other side, you'll see me do that, I think, in the next damage phase. Uh, the great thing about the grenade launcher is his little lanterns, the grenade launcher is one hit them. So there's no need to mess about with those. He'll just kind of stay there. It's the only kind of time he will stay in the one position. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do consistent damage to him, which is... The bow does good, good damage, right? But when you want to use your linear, I'll show you how to do that. It's not because he, he's always going to be shooting wherever he sees you, right? Just put a grenade on him. We do about 13,000, 13 and a half. So what I do is I shoot from each side. It's enough time, which you'll see there, to, to activate your triple tap. You won't lose the ability to get that round back. The bow has a faster draw time, but if you're going between sides, uh, see there, he's put another lantern up. Every time I want to shoot from a side, I let him see me on the other side, so he's not pre-firing at the side I'm going to come out. Sometimes he does that, like he's going to put a lantern up, but he doesn't actually put one up. Try not to use any more uh, Taipan. So, let's talk about this. 
when you come into the area, I put a grenade, make sure you've got your grenade launcher reloaded. I go invis from this normally from the side that I, I fire from. The ads will come to that side and I can move to the other side. And that starts the rotation of moving from side to side. If you move around the edges of the building, edges of the room, uh, the boss stands next to no chance of being able to stomp you because he won't be at the edges of the, the room. There are certain places the boss will not go. Uh, and when we get it back into the room, I will show you the places or the areas of the places he will not go. They're, they're not... They're not safe, but they're safe to travel when you're in this. So again, we've done my first health bar. Uh, not too bad. I think it was the second. I think it's the second one that took all my time. Uh, because it roughly has about 10 minutes of health bar. 10, because there's, you know, waves of ads coming in. You've got champions, which the, the, the unstoppable we will take before you know before the wave of ads are gone i think but we're just pot shotting them and because we're almost always in viz when the ads are coming for us again like i said in the first time if you are getting pushed just jump back here and it allows you to fire at the ads from a safer distance sometimes and i don't know what the correlation is sometimes you'll get a second wave of these ads of the the Screeps. Again, you see they were pushing me. I wasn't sure I could deal with them. So I just moved back here. Very safe. And there we go. A nice chain reaction of explosions. Well, should have took out just about all of them. There we go. It did take out all of them. And now we take out what overload. We're going to do that. I'll try to do it from here. So, go invis. Make sure you've got your M. Uh, you've got an invis. Uh, Either you've got it or you've almost got a second invis. Uh, and then go, go across the next area. Make sure there's no ads near you. And then do your business. Go invis. Go to the other side. So you see here, I'm going to smoke. And I'm going to go over here. I've got a dodge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up around here. The ads are pushing. Although, I'm going to be honest, they're pushing really slowly. I have my smoke. So now we've got wraiths, and I think we'll just get an, get one of them on. And as I say, that's what that's where I'm going now. These are the areas I'm going to show you where the boss doesn't go. This pillar here, the boss won't go. See, see, I went in this there. Where we are here, the boss won't go behind us. That's kind of like a bit of a safe area. He won't come. It's not safe. Watch out for that wraith that was there. He doesn't seem to go down at the bottom where we just were. I'm just going to stay around these ads, watching out for the boss, just to get my smoke back. So where we are here, he doesn't go to the left of where we are. So I wouldn't say it's safe, because he will kind of... We were, we were lucky there. I shouldn't have attacked. If I was going to use my smoke, I shouldn't have attacked, because I didn't have my smoke. I kind of make that mistake a couple of times. So all the ads are up there. I've got my grenade. And now what I'm going to try and do. i put a shot on the boss. Smoke. Now if I decide to stay near, near some of the enemies. Which I don't because I've almost got my dodge. So I'm going to go back and get my smoke. If I decide to stay near, stay near the enemies. I'll, I'll Obviously I'll get my ability my smoke back fast. I've got a smoke so I'm going to just try and. Take out some of these red bars. Again, don't get caught up in the fight. And you see I'm using the edge of the room to move. So that I'm not putting myself in danger from the boss stamping me. Because he doesn't come down here. He might go off to the side of... He might go off to the side. I'm going to smoke these enemies like this. And as you can see, it suppresses them. Weakens them. But it will bring the rest of the ads over. So I've come, I've come back got to watch out for the boss so I can get my smoke. Yeah, I never bothered smoking there because none of the enemies were looking. Again, don't get into the habit of doing that. <laughs> now, because the boss was down to the right where he was, down to the left, sorry, I, I went the other way. You've, 
Sometimes you'll you'll pick a you'll pick a, a way you're gonna go. That was unfortunate. I threw my grenade smoke and this wraith gets smoked, but he still hit me. This wave was the most difficult simply because uh, for, so, for some reason the ads didn't all chase to where I was. So make sure you got your invis, but also when you see that the ads get a couple of shots on these wraiths, try and get them rid of them. When you see that the ads have been captured by a lantern, that's what I'm calling them, the void kind of suppressive lantern. When you see that they've been captured, I'm going to try and stop this unstoppable. Wait for the lantern to go. Right? The lantern will disappear. You don't have to shoot it. So, again, see how the boss... The, for some reason, the boss changed. And um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm changing where I, what I'm doing. Dodge get my smoke. I was looking for the boss. The boss changed where he was running, so I had to change because he obviously sensed something. Sensed. I throw my grenade up there. And then smoke and get out of dodge. The boss must have sensed my my presence or my location. And he changed where he was running, so I had to change mine. Be very mindful of that. I probably would have been okay I wasn't close enough. So, uh, see there, managed to get a couple of good shots, but again, don't get too caught up in doing damage. This time I dodged, and now I went to run one way and ran the other way. I'm not bothering about the unstoppable at the moment. I'm just trying not to mess up on the rotations. So we'll just put a couple of shots on the, on the unstop. Now, because I've got a fair bit of uh, invis. I didn't have to run. I, I tried to stay aware of what was in the area. This wraith, I want him away because for some reason he isn't playing ball. So managed to put it on the spawn, killed nearly all the all the spawn. And for some reason, this wraith does not play ball. I've dodged, the, bo the boss is coming, there's another wave of ads coming in. I w the wraiths seem to not operate the same way as the rest of the ads. They won't be so easily fooled. So what we're going to do is try and get some explosive shots. And then get out of here, there's the boss. And now I go up to the left, all the way to the top. But I'm coming back to get my dodge. Now there's... We've kind of, it's not quite, but we've nearly isolated the unstoppable. And now, again it happened, what I said before about trying to pull out my heavy. It's a nightmare, it keeps happening and I'm, I, I, I don't understand why. Almost got both my invisors back, so I can pretty much straight away want this wraith down. There we go, that should kill the other wraith got my dodge so I ran right past the boss I took a chance there I wouldn't suggest doing that because at any time the boss can just decide uh, there he's coming around there I'm keeping my eye on him and then I've, I've used my smoke see what I mean now what he done was what it looked like he done there is he he was going in a direction and then he backpedaled because he was trying to get a better shot on, on my, the location he thought I had. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying. I was going to try again. Now what I'm going to do is just get a couple of shots. Now I think that unstoppable is finishing. Yeah, he, he changed his direction to get a better shot on my perceived location. I've dodged. We're all good. Now... We'll stop him, and I'm just going to use the bow. And there we go. So now, the ads that are left up, that is the end of this wave. So as you can see, uh, once we finish doing bot damage to the boss, that th this wave is the one that took the took longest. 
And that should be should be one more ad. Yep, I'll kill him when I get over the other side, and then we get the boss into into position to do damage. There we go. Now I'll go up top. I want the boss where I had him before. I don't think I got him up here. I think I have to go to the other side. Where is he going? So I'm just gonna smoke, and then I'll go over the other side. Got a couple of bricks of heavy. I'll dodge. You don't have to go too close to the boss to get him to... Just use my super there. You don't have to go too close to get your... Uh... I'm trying to get him to look at me. Yep, here we go. Now we're going to go behind this pillar. It's exactly the same as the other side. Ah, he's put up a lantern. And there we go. Exactly the same as the other side, and we use the same strategy. Two from that side, one from that side. Just want to make sure he's not pre-firing at the side you want to come out on. See what I'm saying? It's pretty safe to do damage. Two from that side, one from that side, one from that side, you know. Keep changing your sides, and you should be able to do damage pretty, pretty, pretty simply. Got three there. Now it's almost ready to go. Well, it's almost the end of that damage phase. And there we go. And we're back to this section. Now again, as I said before, those uh, those uh, ravagers, those guys. The other guys you really have to look out for. Now I try to make it off the stairs as fast as possible because I remember when I was first doing this, see how I keep checking behind? Not this GM, just this as a strike. The amount of times that I didn't really pay attention to the Ravagers and they froze me as I was jumping. It's just annoying. Now I know that they're the, they're, they're the main kind of protagonists. So we're just looking. There's there there we go. We've got one crit and then a body should do it. There we go. Now I remembered from the last time that we only got that we only got two ravage uh, three ravagers. So I'm kind of like uh, it looks all right. <laughs> I can even I'm I'm looking. I'm like mm, it looks all right. Like I'm like I'm gonna build a house here. You know what a nice neighborhood. <laughs> so again. This time, now, one thing I didn't say last time, be very careful with this champion. He has got a heavy duty uh, void attack, which can one hit. So now we'll stick a grenade on him. I'm not going to mess about with him trying to get finishers or anything. Let's get rid of him. I've got bricks of heavy back in the boss room that I can, I can work with. So, when you go back in, right? Have a look at the spawn, right? Move to the side. Now, what you're going to get now? See, we want, we want. I wanted them to see me on a side. Got ravagers. Now you've got, as you can see, the guy we just ran past. Void snipers, uh, ravagers. You've got a bit of everything here, right? So now I know I can't attack really from here for too long because the boss is already here. So I just put a couple of shots to get the ads to move. You, you're going to have this. Uh, you're going to have this uh, champion up top. He will. When when you get the champ. So when you get the overload champions, right? They stay in that kind of top location. The unstoppable moves about, but he's unless he sees you, he's quite slow. So I'm just trying to like do some damage to more than one. I had to dodge there. You see the boss came right over. Again, be mindful. I thought I had my smoke, which is why I attacked. Now I definitely know I've got my smoke. The the, the ravagers are coming over those uh, the other guys that freeze you. Now you can see here that overload has moved. So this is his area. I'm not sure now, thinking about it, take most of those Ravagers and Raiders, 
now thinking about it, I'm not even sure of the second, I thought the second overload, so third wave, because it's overload, unstoppable overload, I thought the second overload behaved the exact same way that the first overload did. And he doesn't because he's moving all over the place. So the, the second overload will, will move all over the place. The first overload stays up on this platform here, and the second one moves all over the place. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say move all over the place. Another thing that I haven't mentioned is the whole dynamic about going invis. And there's that captain we want to get rid of. There we go. The whole dynamic of going invis, go up top. The whole dynamic of going invis. If you don't want ads to track you, go invis in cover. If you're in cover, they stand less of a chance of tracking you. Also, and you'll see here, just from me doing this, just waiting for that to go. Uh, if I'm in cover and I don't peek out, but I actually did when I was looking at the champion and looking at the, the overload. If I don't peek out, I'll just get my smoke back and I just hide behind this. As long as I don't peek, no ads will come out. You know, the ads won't push after me. Go up top. Stay near these guys for my smoke. I'm going to have my smoke, but I'm, as you can see there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dodge, get my, you know, get out of there, get the, get the invis. But then I'm going to move because that's where they see me. And now I smoke here. You see how they all came straight over to me? They came over, they were came over and they were aiming at where I smoked. Now I can dodge and get a smoke back if I want, but because I've almost got my smoke, I'm just going to dodge. Really silly thing there. I said this before. You see how I've recovered though, because the invis gives you massive recovery. Let's try and take these ravagers. I've got my smoke. Tr if Listen, you have to be... This is obviously my first clear of this. I, I've never been in to do this GM before. So I, I kind of was doing this... Uh, kind of blind. Because I didn't know the GM. Don't rush it. You know, try and keep the ads. Just follow the way that we've been doing this for the whole time. Apart from that last bit where we were attacking before we needed to. Nice. That's a nice share of the damage. See the red? Get out of there. Go down bottom. See that I let the boss pass. Still a bunch of ads up. Dodge, get my smoke back and then go to my place. Now if I went up here and I didn't peek, the ads wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have a clue where I was. As long as I'm in cover and I go invis when I'm in cover. The other thing I'm not trying to do too much is double jump, boost jump. Because double jumping alerts the ads even if you're in this. I'm going to try and take... There we go. I'm going to try and take as many out in this the next couple of rotations because I don't know how many waves I've got left. It seems like I don't have a lot. In fact, this could be the last. And the reason I'm saying that is because check to see I actually if I remember correctly <laughs> there is one more to kill I'll just dodge here get my smoky back I actually cleared all the waves of ads and didn't realize I had so there we go that was where I was like oh is that the last wave so we're just gonna stop him again grenade now you see how the boss hasn't come come behind. He cannot come behind you. Now it's just get into position. Melt the boss using the same tactics we have. So to get him to come into the center, you have to get him to come up here first. So don't go all the way over to the cover because he won't go to where you want. You've got to get him to come up in sections. Right? So I could go over the other side if I wanted, but it's six and a half a dozen. 
exactly what we're doing before. Now, when you're firing your tether, don't fire both tethers from the same place because he will shoot you, right? And because he's got a big void attack, that is not what you want. So again, we'll get him to face this way and then we'll switch as he's already pre-firing the other side. Get a couple of shots on that. Now he's, he's good to take shots. See how we don't want that. We, we want him to change his direction of firing. Except this, it's something, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like really bad. I'll just dodge, I'll go up here and I'll take that out. And then he puts a solo one right down next to me. Cool that the grenade takes it out with one shot, but I, I and then he's got another one up. I think the third guy, the third, third wave, third guy? <laughs> How many bosses are there in here? Uh, the third wave uh, is the most annoying for, for the, for the lanterns. So I'm just like, now just going from side to side. He done his John Travolta move there. And then back to... And then right at the end, hadn't seen him do that from this location. Now he decides to start moving. Now I could get him back into the position. I'll just smoke and go up over here. Pick up some more heavy. Is there any more lying about? No. I think he's one shot now. And there we go. So the idea is Invis move to the other side. Do damage on some of the ads. Invis go to the other side. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate all your support. That's five of the six done. Am I going to do Corrupted? Who knows? Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.